What's up, everyone? Juicy J, Dude Let's Chat, coming at you with another Bleach Thousand Year Blood War Episode 11 review. It is going to be fantastic. We're going to have a great time. As you can see, we're missing Brent. We're missing Isaac. Isaac is sick, and Brent is sick of us. So it just kind of happens. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I'm kidding, man. We miss you. We miss you, Ice. Both y'all, always. There's always a place here for you. But I am joined by the illustrious Casey. Casey, my floating friend, how are you doing? Oh, I'm doing pretty good. Thank you for having me. I'm sorry that I was gone for the past couple times, but computer problems. What can you do? Right, right. And you know what? It's all good. We're the OG Bleach fans. We're here for the OG channel. <sighs> Let's just jump right into it. This episode was fantastic it was everything we wanted from the invasion where they finally got to squad zero yavak goes against the squad zero royal guard and has a great time let's be fair it's just it was just packed full of an if enough action to keep you going with a pretty good backstory too and a little bit of addition so casey what you got for me? Well, first off, I definitely agree with everything that you stated. Um, in fact, I do actually feel like this was a very balanced episode, in all honesty. Mm -hmm. um, you did have the battles. You do have the setup for, I'm guessing, the next week's episode with the Squad Zero going up against them. Um but I just really enjoyed it. I do need to ask you this, though. Um, What's up, buddy? Did the past happen in the manga? Like, when you're seeing Evok and... Honestly, when you're seeing Ichigo and everybody inside the pillar and they're just talking... I'm trying to remember because it's been a while since I read the manga and I'm completely out of sorts, honestly, and I probably need to reread it. Did that actually happen in the manga? Because I have no clue about that up until Squad Zero kind of revealed themselves. Like, I remember the Great Weaver, but I don't remember everything beforehand, if that makes sense. Yeah, so you're talking about whenever... It was Yavak talking with Ichibe the first time, correct? Correct. Okay. So, you are absolutely correct. What, what we saw there with... There wasn't... There obviously, was, there was going to be add-ins to this, you know? And we definitely, of course, yeah. we definitely knew that. And something they added in that was pretty fantastic, in my opinion, was that conversation conversation between Yavak and Ichibe, where Ichibe is trying to push this treaty it, for everyone who kind of may pay attention to the beginning. It's like this this wasn't something that was part of the manga, to the best of my knowledge. Mind you, I read this manga a long time ago, but. As far as my knowledge, as far as my recollection goes to, I don't remember Ichibe talking with Yavak. In fact, we saw a bit of Yavak's power there that we shouldn't have seen until later, later. Like, we shouldn't have seen that's, that at yeah, all. Yeah, that, that's, that's exactly how I was feeling, is like, mm -hmm. wait, I don't remember seeing... Ichibe's power until him and Evok actually fought. So I, I'm trying to recollect all of this and trying to put things together. I mean, it'd be great if Brent was here because he has just read all of the manga. Mm -hmm. No, no, I'm I am I am fairly certain that we have not we did not see that in the manga because my thing was it was I remember it being the biggest reveal you know the mm -hmm. biggest reveal you know and it was like uh, it, you know holy crap holy crap and so i i would venture to posit that it was not in there i i <sighs> believe it was but you know what we got a second you got any other questions i'm gonna go 
right here in the middle of it. Let's go see, you know? Because that mm-hmm. fight starts at 6.04, Ichibe versus Yavak, which is where we kind of left off, of course. And so mm-hmm. it won't take much for me to go through that. We'll do that right here, right now, you know? Definitely do so. I, I mean, mm-hmm. this was something that was catching my eye. So I'm honestly just wondering because I don't remember it at all. Um, I don't know. It's definitely... as. Yeah. As you're looking it up, I don't remember the discussion inside the pillar with Ichigo and um, Orihime and all of them. I, I just remember them being shot off and arriving. There, so, like, there was a slight. I remember that there was a slight discussion, especially with Ganju. The whole so you know it. It's like, eh, do I? You know, like. Uh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, I can see that. It's like the whole, like, do I actually know? Do I not? Like, I can understand that. I I'm, I guess my whole thing is more on Ichigo, asking about if the Soul King can be replaced. Okay, yeah, no, that was, that was definitely an add-in, you know? Okay, uh, okay. So I'm glad that I... I at least have somewhat knowledge of knowing what is different. <laughs> yeah. So, I mean, things, things have been moved around, you know? Mm-hmm. So, but we kind of already knew that. Things so, have already... So... <laughs> go ahead. Uh, sorry to interrupt. No, go um, ahead. Are you still looking it up right now? Yeah, well, pretty much, yeah. No, it did It did not happen. Like, I I okay. know that it didn't happen. So all of you, <laughs> everybody was like, I know that that didn't happen. If I'm wrong, then, you know, there's not really much off my back. Let's see. Let's, let's impose a penalty. If I'm <laughs> wrong, then I will have to show my face next week. No, that's not fair. I was planning on it anyways. You know what? <laughs> I have nothing to prove, guys. I am I am quite certain. I I just went through like four chapters. There's no way. Like I know for a fact that his power or at least a piece of his power wasn't showcased at all before he uses it. He and the other dude by extent. So we're not even we're not even gracing that anymore. That was an add-in. I know it for a fact, you know? So thank you for sticking by as, as long as y'all did for me to look at that, but it I can't find it anywhere. And I don't remember there being a talk, someone attacking Ichibay, Ichibay having the eye in his hand. None of that, honestly, would have made any sense given where the series goes, you know? Mm-hmm. So that is definitely an add-in. Flip side of it, the talk in the pillar, I believe there was some additional stuff into it. But I don't know. I wouldn't say it's unnecessary, though. I really actually appreciate both the scene they showed with Ishibe and Yavak with the treaty. And, of course, them talking about the Soul King to some extent. <clears throat> ah, sorry. But... It's definitely what Ichigo said was filler, and the reason why is because he brought up images while he was training, and all of the images he was having while he was walking towards Ichibe to go and train, like that we saw at the beginning of all this, all of that was filler. We've already discussed that. Like the, all of that, we weren't supposed to see Ichigo until a, around this moment, maybe episode mm-hmm. nine of Core Two. But the fact is. We did. So, yeah, no, there's a lot of filler in this one. I would say fluffer because this is what us OG fans have been wanting for a long time, which is to fill in some of these gaps. I'm personally looking forward to it. No, I am definitely looking forward to it. Um, I do want to correct one thing, at least in my own mind. I do not consider this filler. I do not consider this fluffer either i consider this as more of a director's cut if you will well and i I guess that's what i'm meaning when i say fluffer i think the difference between filler and fluffer and i've been meaning to make a video about that and then when you hear me say it this is what i mean is that the fluffer is the director coming and going no i wanted this this way 
to begin with. We saw a little bit of that when we watched the My Hero Academia from earlier this year. It was a great time, but especially with the invasion of Tartarus, the prison, they added some scenes. It wasn't a lot of addition, but it's enough for us to be like, no, that's that's cohesive. So we don't just randomly figure out about a prison just to randomly watch it fall. We have a little bit more to kind of invest us into what this is. This is about that same way. This is okay. an attempt to get us to realize or at least understand Yavok's full position. But, you know, I don't know if I'm necessarily down with that, but I am appreciative of it <laughs> because I want to see more and more of it. You know, there was this whole society shown off in the manga that we don't really get to touch on, but mm-hmm. but just a little bit. And it's like, I want to know more. Obviously, Yavak is the king of the Quincy's, but no one treats him like the king of the Quincy's. That was the first time we're actually seeing the Soul Society acknowledge him as a king, going to him, talking to him about a treaty in his own palace, you know? So mm-hmm. well, that's my take on it anyways. But I see what you're saying, like director's cut. This is definitely Tite Kubo coming in here and be like, okay, we're we're going to... We're going to round this out, you know? Right. So and that's kind of my feeling with this episode. Like, I understand that more than half of this episode probably is fluffer, as you would state. But it's making sense of what did not make sense in the manga. Oh, yeah. It, And that's my one thing is like, I'm actually really enjoying this. Because it's not a season-long uh, episodic thing. No, we're going from a battle or battles into like this actual discussion about things mm. and seeing the past and how it corresponds to it. Like that is great storytelling to me, where it's like you're not being drenched in what happened in the past, but it's being revealed to you as it's coming up kind of thing. No, I absolutely agree. It is, it has been doing very well. I Mm -hmm. really liked this episode. I've liked everything up to this point, even the lull episodes. I am really Mm -hmm. looking forward to next week from my understanding. And I could be wrong, but I believe the last episode is supposed to be an hour long. I could be wrong, so don't quote me. I'll definitely put up the correct announcement for that later on this week for anybody watching and listening. But from what I understand, it was supposed to be a longer episode, and that should be the ending of this. And so, as such, we most likely won't be doing a recording. We'll be doing a live stream. That's right, everyone. We're going to get back to it. A season finale Mm -hmm. has to have us all reflecting on it after watching it and so we're gonna push it for a live stream so look forward to that we'll have more announcements along the way casey any final thoughts before we call it a night honestly i'm just looking forward to the next week's episode because i i do want to see squad zero because squad zero is just Mm -hmm. their bay we got we got we we had our thirst quenched ever so slightly Mm -hmm. if you will just just a touch of the tongue a little bit on the palate it was beautiful but Mm -hmm. we do want to see some more of this and really kick it into high gear and of course ichibe versus yavak we're looking forward to that it's going to be great looks like we're going to end it on a pretty high note so let's have some fun Guys, you know where to find us. You're obviously here for a reason. Dude, let's chat. We talk games, movies, and all things in between. Catch us on this channel as we do the Nintendo Power Hour with Isaac. We do the Bleach Reviews, which sadly is coming to an end, but look forward to some announcements later for some more animes and, dare I say, Korean animes? We'll talk about that later. And, of course, Casey. We have him from Dude, from Dude Let's Chat. He's for Dude Let's Chat, but no. <laughs> Work in Progress. Work in Progress, S-L-O, is how you'll find them. No spaces, all one word. You find them on YouTube at that. It is a great channel. Brent and Casey, Casey work very hard to provide some pretty amazing content. They have an amazing After Dark podcast that happens on the weekends. And, of course, the streaming we've been seeing from Brent. His videos that I'm always simping for, 
Guys, go give them a check out, especially with the new Cyberpunk update. It looks phenomenal. Brent is definitely focused on it. We're really looking forward to some things he's going to bring out with it soon. So please go cat, give them a listen, give them a like, a follow, maybe a subscribe. And you know where we are. Please hit that bell if you want to see more from us. Subscribe if you'd like. Thank you for coming along. Until next time, ladies and gentlemen, stay happy, stay healthy, stay beautiful.